Hey, it's Vincent with Vasco Toys, and I'd like to welcome you back to our channel where we're doing a paint progression series on this action figure diorama. Now, in the last part, we did some weathering, we did some secondary colors. This part, we're going to finish it out, and this is going to be the final result. I'll show you how we get to this result. Vasco Toys, action figure, dioramas, and props. I'm going to apply sand to the base first, and we're going to do that similar to the way that you apply flock, and I have a video on my channel for that if you guys want to check it out, but I'm using Mod Podge, just the regular uh, Mod Podge, and I'm just going to apply it with a paintbrush in the spots that I want the sand to accumulate in. And in some of these cases, I'm going to put the Mod Podge into the cracks um, just to kind of hold it in place, even though it is going to gravitate towards going in there on its own. And then we're going to put a solution on it that is going to make it um, stay in there anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to use play sand, which I have um, used a sieve to get the most fine grains that I had in there, and I'm going to just sprinkle it on top of the area I put Mod Podge in. This will be the first step, and then we'll add some more throughout, and uh, then I'm going to pack it in, and, and you guys will see how, how this works. So now you can see um, there are, you know, there's some sand that appears at the start of this and it's almost as if the sand is blowing this way. So I'm going to try to continue that trend on the base and then eventually we'll do the pillars. So just another detail I want in here, or just some like really, since this is a desert, like some dead weeds. So we're actually going to use an old bristled broom, um, and we are going to, I just cut a bunch of the, the bristles off, and you can kind of see them, it's a little bit difficult to see, but we're going to uh, glue those down into some of the cracks and make it look like we've got some like dead uh, foliage kind of stuff going on. So all I'm going to do with that is get a couple bunch together and take some Gorilla Glue just get a little bit of the glue just dab it on the top and then stick it in one of the cracks
Okay, so for now I think that this is a good amount of the foliage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Mod Podge water solution, which is just a spray bottle like this that I got from the Dollar Tree with Mod Podge and water in, in here. And I didn't do any kinds of um, measuring or anything, so I'm just going to um, spritz it. And we wanna make sure it's on like the spritz setting. So I'll show you guys, we're gonna douse this. And it's gonna do kind of two things. The, the main thing that we wanted to do is seal the sand down so that it doesn't, uh, so it dries and it'll be there permanently, but it's also going to uh, somewhat seal the diorama, the paint and all of that, even though we are gonna seal it separately at the end. So we wanna make sure it's nice and wet. And now we've gotta let this thing dry out in the sun or under some kind of heat source. Time to do the same process on the pillars. So I'm just gonna get my Mod Podge and then get ready to sprinkle the sand on. And I'm gonna do a lot of it around like the cracks and crevices of the base because that's where windy sand would wanna go if it was an actual desert. I'm going to go ahead and dry brush some of the original desert sand color onto the first pillar just to kind of show you guys what I'll do and then I will off camera do it on the rest of the diorama and I'll show you guys that in a time lapse. So hopefully you guys can see the difference. So this is the one I didn't dry brush yet. This one did. I think this one looks a little bit better. I think this uh, sand right out of the play sand box was a little bit too like orangey. And I think that, you know, adding in the desert sand as a dry brush helped. So I'm gonna do that on this and all the other pieces and then I'll check back in with you guys. Quick thing to show you guys before I wrap this up. So with what I'm trying to do with the weathering, you might notice there's almost like some like a lighter sort of a finish on the edges, and I want that to be because if the wind was blowing, you know, this way, I want to outline and make it look like super dusty and like there was a lot of wind erosion all along the front side of this. 
And so, just can't accomplish that simply with some light dry brushing. And it makes, I think, a pretty big difference in the way this is going to look in the end. We're going to do the same dry brushing to get that final weathered effect on the columns. I want to do this along the edging just to kind of get that, like I said, make it look like the, uh, the wind has eroded this on top of whatever other kind of erosion we've had. The final thing that I want to do to make sure that this diorama is finished is to seal it and I'm going to show you guys how to do that quick. I'm going to explain it here and then show a shot of me doing it. But essentially all we're going to do is use some mini wax fast drying polyurethane and this is the clear satin variety. And it's going to have a matte finish even though it says clear satin. This is a spray can and most of the time you'll hear people say don't spray the pink insulation foam. Um, this will actually not, for whatever reason, damage that uh, pink insulation foam as long as you spray it from 6 to 12 inches away. And I always like to do a test piece when I get a new can just to make sure. But I'm going to show you guys. It's very simple. Just spray a couple of coats on here, let it dry, and then we'll be all set. Here's a bit of a pro tip for you. When you're done with this can, if you want it to last a while, it's a self-cleaning nozzle, but all you have to do is spray it until nothing upside down, until nothing else is coming out. So now the nozzle's clean and we can use it next time. And that's gonna do it for our paint progression series where we took a look at how to paint this ancient ruins diorama. I hope you guys liked the series, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment letting me know what other kinds of series related to dioramas you might want to see on the channel in the future. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.